Okay, so I was in the middle of doing this ritual where I'm putting together a house cleansing protection kit for um, somebody who is moving into a new house. And I decided to just film the process a little bit. I'm not doing the whole thing because this is the first step. They're building a home. Sorry for the shaking because I'm doing this impromptu but they are building a new home. So I ordered from, and I will um, link it down below, but Lavish Earth, I talk about them a lot. They are an amazing crystal shop. I buy all my crystals from them um, until further notice, until I find some place better, but they are in, um, which I, I can't imagine I would find a place better. They are in Maine. They are located in Maine. And all of their crystals are super high vibration. They don't even really need to be cleansed, in my opinion, when they come in. But I do them anyway, just in case. Um, they are super high quality. This is some selenite. Um, they are always responsibly sourced. So, you know, they're not coming from, this is some black tourmaline. They're not coming from some kind of, like, ridiculous, horrible slave mill or something. Um, this is clear quartz, some points, um, I don't know if the camera will focus, there we go, some double pointed clear quartz. So I ordered a bulk order of these things because I am going to be using all of them and I may even need to ask for more. Um, my first step that I'm actually going to share with you, but I'm not going to share all of it, is I'm putting together, as you can see, a set of black tourmaline, selenite, and clear quartz. And the reason why you see a bunch of them, first of all, I'm saging them in smoke, but sage is like spiritual bleach. So it clears out the negative energy and any other energy, all energy, also positive energy. So it cleanses out the energy, but then it wipes it clean. There's nothing else there to back it up. So then I have my, as you see my makeup bag in the background, beautiful. Um, then I have my cedar tips that I have harvested from my own backyard that I'm going to burn and run these through that smoke as well for protection. Um, to help charge these up with protection. Now, selenite and black tourmaline are all naturally, they're automatically, selen um, sorry, black tourmaline naturally absorbs negative energy and selenite as well. They both are basically, I'd like to call them spiritual sponges. Um, and they do have a little bit, I'm not going to go too in depth of it, but they do have, their properties are a little bit different. Neither of them can get wet. Um, the reason why I'm putting them in this bag is they're not going outside. I do another kit where I bury things outside and I put them in little like baby food jars or little mason jars so that they don't get wet because selenite will disintegrate and black tourmaline when it gets wet will turn toxic. So neither of them... Both are bad for wetness. Quartz is fine, but just so you know, little FYI. Anyway, so what I'm doing is with all of these, I have four for a reason. Houses are based, have four corners. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, this house is being built. So as it's being built, these the intention here is the homeowner is going to get four sets of this. I'm going to give it to them in these pouches. They're going to be charged with protection um, energy, and these stones naturally are protection. The, the quartz is for magnification and to absorb the negative energy. And as their home is being built, they are, because the walls are not up yet on the inside, they are to put these inside the walls as the drywall is being put in, in the four corners of their home, preferably the basement or the lower level, so that it is ground, closest to the ground. And that will be built inside the levels of their house. 
And that is the first step of protecting their home. So there's much more to be done here. Like I said, I ordered these in bulk because I'm going to be using them in other ways. And I have a lot of other methods that I'm going to use. But this is the first step. And I just wanted to share it um, quickly. I It's my own tweaking thing that I, I've gotten these ideas from reading books. I can't even think of the books right now, but from friends and from research online and from reading books. I actually have these in the corners of my home and I find that it works really great. And I have these quartz above the doors, um, which my girlfriend, I'm not going to quote her because I don't know if she wants me to out her, but my girlfriend gifted to me and told me to put above all of my doors and that has worked amazing. In fact, somebody that had ill will towards me that stepped through the threshold ended up vomiting the minute they walked in the door. So yeah, it works if you work it, guys. Um, rosemary would also work really well for protection, but right now I have cedar because that was gathered naturally from my home. The reason why they are dried is because my cedar trees, unfortunately, were starting to die this summer because of the drought. And it was really sad for me because I was like, oh my God, please don't die, please don't die. And after a storm, all of these brown tips, cedar tips started to fall. So I tried to gather a ton before um, they started to get ruined because that's what we do <laughs> when we're one with nature. And that is it for now. Please like, sub sub subscribe as I stumble over my words, share, Comment down below if you have any tips or ideas or tricks that you use for house protection. Again, like I said, this is just a quick little um, intro of it. I don't like to share everything because it is personal, it is private. I am going to be starting a Patreon where I share more like spells and um, Book of Shadows type of things and more personalized stuff that y you can actually see me doing workings and stuff uh, that has not gotten up and going yet but just wanted to share this really quickly I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next one bye